super long wearing. It smells like nice. Holy moly! That is bad. Burp, 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 burp. Smells lice. No, hopefully it doesn't smell like lice. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got Friday favorites and pooies for you today, and I hope that you guys had a really great Thanksgiving. I'm actually filming this before Thanksgiving, um, just because I'll be spending time with my family, but I just hope that you guys had the best day. I want you to know that I appreciate you so, so much. I don't say it enough. I say it sometimes, but I could say it a bajillion times and it still wouldn't be enough. You guys bring so much joy to my life. I love making videos for y'all. I love talking to you guys in the comments and on other social media. Y'all are just the best and you just add so much fun and joy to my life. So I love you guys. So let's get into the favorites. I actually did paint my nails this week, so it's a Thanksgiving miracle. I've got on Madame Glam's red black and it's just a really beautiful dark dark kind of ox blood but it's really almost black which that's why i love it so much it's such a pretty color it applied really nicely it's worn really nicely good formula yeah i mean i don't know what else to say about it other than it's a really pretty polished color it was easy to apply and it's wearing really well. I have been so impressed with this Pure Cosmetics Love Your Selfie palette. They sent this to me and I hadn't even heard of it. I mean, maybe I saw it in Ulta but just didn't look at it closely, but I really don't remember this palette. And I was totally missing out because this is so good. I have um, a blog post, I have pictures on my Instagram. I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me using this. So it comes with a mascara. A lip gloss, which this is really pretty too. I wore this this week. It's gorgeous. Just a really pretty nude gloss. But these eyeshadows and the face products are ridiculously pigmented. I do have these on my eyes today with something else I'm going to mention to you in a second. But these are just so buttery and pigmented. They do kick up a little bit of product when you're using them. Um, so the palette gets a little bit messy. But really, I don't find them to be messy on the eyes. I find them to be really easy to blend. They build really nicely on themselves. They wear really well. I mean, the quality of these shadows is so good. So good. I mean, just impressive. I don't know. Like, this was one that when I was swatching it, I wanted to try the Soul Mats palette, so I was really excited to get that too. So thankful for that, and I'm loving that too. But this is the one that I've played around with the most so far. And this is the one that I was like, what? Like, where have I been on this palette? It's so nice. And you've got like everything you need right there with the mascara, the lip gloss, all the face products and the eye products. You just need like maybe some liner and some foundation and powder, and you're good to go. So... Yeah, I mean, if you've been kind of like thinking about this little Love Yourselfy palette or eyeing it, I think it's an awesome one. And then the sparkly goodness that I've got on my eyelids today is Urban Decay's Diamond Dog. Oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. This is one of my favorite things in my collection. I just love this shadow. You know, sometimes a dark, sparkly, smoky eye just needs to happen. And I was just feeling that the other day, feeling like wearing it again today and this is the way to do it. It is just the most beautiful, dark, chocolatey color with just sparkle galore. I mean, if you don't like sparkle and glitter, this is not for you, but if you do, you need this. It's just incredible. You can apply it. That was just regular. That was, you know, not using any kind of Fix Plus or anything, so you can use it just regular. Then you apply some Fix Plus, and it looks like the way I've got it on my lids. So it kind of like deepens it a little bit and just makes it even more dramatic. Oh my gosh. And I feel like these shadows, what are these called? They're moon dust, I think. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Moon dust something, I think. These are like such great statement eyeshadows that you can just grab one of them, put a blending color in your crease, and you are good. But you look like super glam, fun makeup situation and it's so easy because it's mainly just one shadow and a little bit of blending so diamond dog i think is a great one to start with though in the moon dust because it's so pretty and it's a brown so i feel like it's kind of a i don't know an easy way to kind of like step your toe into some glittery amazing 
more dramatic eye looks. And then I am still using my Makeup Geek Duo Chromes. I just can't put them down. I wore Ritzy, Havoc, I bought Secret Garden, so I wore that one. I got Prism, and then I forget the other one. I got one other pigment. So actually what I did, I wore this on my lids, but then also I have it kind of on the center of my lips today, and it just kind of like, I don't know, adds a little bit of something, like a little bit of dimension to your lips. So, I mean, you can experiment with these. Like, you can use them as just a regular, well, not regular, but just as a shadow, an amazing shadow, but you can also, you know, like, use them as highlights or use them in a lip look to kind of give more dimension. I mean, they are just so versatile, so incredible, so beautiful. I haven't been this obsessed with an eyeshadow in a long time. Like, I always love eyeshadow, but I feel like these are just like, oh my gosh, I want every color. I want to play with them all in so many different ways. They're just so, I feel like they're super creative. Like, that's what I love about them. You can just like really play around with them in different ways, different makeup looks. You can use them in different ways on your face, but then also together in different ways. They're just cool and I love them. For blush this week, I did wear the one in the Love Your Selfie palette, so I want to swatch that for you. It's super buttery in texture, and it is pretty intense. Like, I put this on my cheeks, and I was like, whoa, it's a pigmented blush. It is beautiful, but a little bit goes a long way with it. So I wore that, and I love that. I don't know if it has a name, but it's the one in the blush, in the Love Your Selfie palette. So really pretty blush there. And then I also wore Clinique's Cola Pop. I think this is just like very, I don't know, kind of like a Thanksgiving sort of a blush. It's just really warm and very Dr. Pepper-like. <laughs> I just love the color of it and I feel like it's a really unique color. I mean, whoa, whoa. I'm wearing this on my cheeks today, so you can see. I mean, it doesn't have to be that intense. But, I mean, I barely tapped my brush in it today. I used my Bobbi Brown blush brush, barely tapped a little bit, and just, like, did not use a lot of pressure to apply it, and really just applied it slowly, very carefully, because that's a, oh my, really intensely pigmented blush. But it's really pretty. It's a beautiful color. I feel like it's a unique shade. It really does give, like, a warmth to your skin. It's just, it's beautiful. And I've said this a bajillion times on my channel, but the texture of these um, cheek pops from Clinique are so nice. They really have such a nice formula to them. They're really easy to work with. So it makes using a super intense color like this easier because you kind of have a little bit more playroom and it's just not as easy to mess it up. You know what I mean? They blend so nicely. For lips this week, I wore my Buxom Sinful Cinnamon. I can't remember if I've already told y'all that I got this. I caved and bought it. I'd eyed it forever and I finally ended up getting it. So I can't remember if I've already told y'all that and if I've mentioned it in a Friday Favorites already. I don't remember, but anyway, I love it regardless. It's just a beautiful 90s sort of a nude brown color. So it's got some like browns, terracottas, a little bit of mauve. It's just that typical, beautiful 90s sort of a shade, and I love it. The formula is really nice. It's comfortable on the lips. It's long wearing. It smells good. Yeah, like a light kind of vanilla creme brulee scent, so it smells really nice. The only negative is that the bullet is kind of hard to work with. It's just it's too big, and it's not in the shape like that it's easy to apply, so that's kind of the only negative to it, but I love it. I'm so glad I got it. I'm wearing it. I'm getting use out of it. It really is a pretty color. And it's kind of like a, it seems like a fan favorite. Like a lot of people have this one and have talked about it. This one seems like it's getting a lot of buzz as far as these lipsticks go. Sinful Cinnamon seems like one of the favorites. So I already mentioned that I have Makeup Geek's Prism in the middle of my lips to kind of add some dimension, but the lipstick that I'm wearing is Maybelline's Creamy Matte in Lust for Blush. This is just a beautiful mid-tone kind of mauve pink. I love it so much. And I feel like this is a really good pink for this time of year because it's mauve -y, it's a little bit subdued, so it's not like a super bright 
neon pink. I mean, you can totally wear that this time of year too, but this one I feel like kind of like fits fall a little bit better because it's sort of more on the subdued side, but it's still a sweet girly pink. I love it so much. I, I love these creamy mattes so much. And you guys know this because I've talked about them a million times on my channel and everybody else seems to love them too. So these lipsticks honestly make it a little bit hard for me to justify buying higher end lipsticks. I still do, I still love them, but it always goes through my mind where I'm like, ooh, I don't know. I probably have something close in my Maybelline collection because I love these and I, I genuinely love this $5.50 lipstick as much as my $30 lipstick. So I'm always kind of like, ooh, can I really justify this? Sometimes I still do, for sure, but I say all that to say, these are really, really good. I love them so much. I feel like they are great lipsticks, and Lust for Blush is just a really, really pretty mauvey pink. And I do have a fooey this week. I feel like a lot of times my fooeys are centered around stinky products, like literally stinky, not just like figuratively stinky, but like literally stinky. And this is a stinky product. This is the Bare Minerals Pop of Passion. This is in Pink Passion. So I got this in like some kind of a little gift or set or something, and I went to wear it one day this week and I was like, whoa, oh my goodness. I don't even know how to describe this. It's like straight up, is it like clay? Oh, what does it smell like? Like from art class, like the molding clay. Yeah, something like that. Something funky that you don't want your lipstick to smell like. Let me just show you the color. It's a really pretty color. It's really glossy and beautiful, but holy moly, that is bad. But I, this is, you know, like a little sample size and I've, you know, tested out the ones in the store and they don't smell like this. So maybe it's just that it's a smaller one that things got a little funky with it, but I don't know. So I wouldn't say that they're all like this, but I would say if you get one in the store, maybe open it up and smell it to make sure there's something not terribly wrong with it, like with this one. <laughs> but it is a cute color, so that's kind of a bummer that it stinks so bad. All right, guys, so those are all my favorites and my fooey for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and let me know down below what you were loving this week. Let me know how your Thanksgiving was or what you are checking out for Black Friday. I would love to know those things. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. I love you guys so, so much, and I'm so thankful for each and every one of you, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!